So uh, I created my website, and it's been published on Business Catalyst, and there you go. Um, and so now the next step, what I really want to do is I want to make this um, site um, become a site that I can use on the regular web. So I don't want it to be ctmcdonaldbusinesscatalyst.com. I want it to be ctmcdonald.com. So the first thing is, is um, you have to, first thing is, is you have to already uh, sign in to your GoDaddy account, which I did. And then you click on domains and it comes to this area. And then once you come into this area, you need to click on the manage. And what's going to happen is it's going to give you this dialog box. And in this case, it's going to be set to standard, but then you can click customize and then you can type these uh, in a new field. So let me add a new one just so you can see what it does. It does like this. You just add them in. Now, where did I get those from? Well, if you remember back when we were talking about business catalyst help, um, and we talked about this whole page. Remember that the steps really are to buy and register a domain, then point that domain to Business Catalyst, which is what that was just doing. And this is where I got that information from, uh, from here to go into GoDaddy. And now the last thing I have to do is I have to add that domain to my site so that it will actually click and, and go there. So how do I do that? Well, of course, I can just click on this guy right here. Yep got to click him first and then he's going to actually take me out to my business catalyst um, site so I'm going to actually log in with my uh, um, username and password and once I'm logged in then what's going to happen is it's going to show me this where I can add a domain so then when I click on add a domain it's going to ask me well, what's the domain I want to add and in this case it's ctmcdonald.com and then I just hit the save button. And then what's going to happen a few minutes or a little bit of time is going to go by and you're going to get this success dialog box. Let me move that over a little bit. And you're going to see that it's going to point to those um, pointers for you that you just put in. I'm going to click OK. And then now you can see that they've been added into my website. So here is the one on Business Catalyst. I'm going to hit T to, uh, to make a new window and I'm going to add in I don't want to go to Business Catalyst. I just want to go to ctmcdonald.com and voila. So I'm actually, if I look at my site, I'm actually the same site in two different places. Um, though it's not really, it's actually pointing. So that's why I can get there by using either address. So this is now 100% live on the web. You can find it by just typing in ctmcdonald.com. And so that's how I can associate and get a Business Catalyst hosting with a domain that I bought from GoDaddy for $12.95 or $13.95, whatever it was. Pretty cool. All right, there's two other ways to publish, and I'm going to make a video about those um, coming up.